Hubert H. Humphrey Metrodome, the Minnesota Showplace. Home of the most exciting, most dramatic, most significant and spectacular cultural and sporting events in the upper Midwest. A place out of time where every year hundreds of thousands of fans forget the outside world and live for the moment. A place where their every need, every taste is served by the professional service team from Volume Services. And now, you're joining this team of dedicated professionals, these champions of beer and hot dogs. Each of them committed to serving the Metrodome customers with the finest food and beverages in the most friendly, courteous way possible. You can't go out there unprepared. We know you're ready, willing, and you will be able. But before you can be a Volume Services professional, there's a lot you need to know. You need the training. You've got to know what you're doing out there. So let's follow a team in action. Let's start your training right now. You'll enter the dome through the loading dock entrance on the corner of 11th Avenue and 5th Street. Once inside, you pass through security by showing your ID badge and being checked off by Volume Services Management. Then turn left down the hallway. Always wear your ID badge inside the dome. It's your pass through the bustling excitement. As you head for the locker rooms, notice and remember the location of the first aid station and the food distribution area. Always check the volume services bulletin board for last minute changes or notices and to sign up for future events. Just initial the dates you want to work across from your name. Then move on to the uniform and locker rooms. Here you'll get your uniform. Dark slacks or skirts and the smock are volume services distinguishing uniforms. No jeans are permitted, and you should wear leather shoes to protect yourself from injuries or hot spills. Attaching your ID badge to your uniform is the final touch. You're ready. My heart always starts to pound about now. I'm ready, but before it events, the adrenaline starts to flow. As each person heads to their assignment, they harbor their own thoughts. Now I'm going to set the cups a little closer. I've got my calculator. I'm going to show them I can be a manager. While there are specialty food stands in the dome, the ice cream, pizza, and hamburger stands, our team will work one of the general stands that are the majority of volume services concessions. Here they come. Now the true nature of these professionals takes over. Watch as this precision team goes into action. This is real teamwork as they prepare for the evening ahead. They're coming away from the sink with determined looks on their faces. Jim heads right for the hot dog and broth machine. There goes Sue with the nacho pot. Oh, wow, folks. Look at that teamwork. And here comes Mary. Look at that handoff. There goes Jill to the condiment counter. Sue and Dan team up. See how smoothly they wipe down the counters with clean towels and bleach. They'll check the whole stand for cleanliness before they're through. Here goes Jim. He's headed for the displays. His arms are full of candy and peanuts. He quickly fixes one package to the display, then swiftly places the rest under the counter. Here come the cups. Jim quickly takes and stacks as many cups as he can and still leave his area uncluttered. Largest on the left, smallest on the right. Jill is back from the condiment counters, filling the soda bins with ice. Did you see that style, making sure the ice bins are full, the scoops are in place, handles up? Dan and Sue have finished their cleanup and are laying damp towels by each of the lines. The action is slowing down a bit here, folks, so let's see if we can catch a word with the manager, Bill Sawyer. A uh, Bill? A uh, Bill? Bill, seems there's a lot of hustle and bustle around here. That's right. Preparation is really important to us. The stand is all set. It makes it a lot easier when the fans hit us. These workers are real pros. The stand and team are ready and the pace is slowed. It's time for the stand meeting. Now, each team member gets their evening's assignment. Plus, they review vital information. They've all heard it before, so I'll give you a quick rundown. Common sense safety is a part of being a volume services team member. 